If you need to extract the places you have visited from the data recorded by Google Location History Service, and want to work with it in spreadsheets or various vector formats, at geoprocessing.online we have the right tool for you. On Google Timeline you can just view your location history. But, if you need to further process your past location data, you need to have it in a spreadsheet or GIS vector file. There is geoprocessing online to help you. People all over the world are tracking their location with their cell phones more and more often. Today, there are about 3.5 billion smartphone users worldwide, almost half the global population. About 84% of the total number of smartphone users use a phone with the Android operating system from Google. And most of these almost 3 billion Android users have active the Google Location History Service, which is used to track the user's location when the phone is turned on and receiving a mobile signal, while GPS signal is not necessary. Location history is part of your Google account settings, and you can turn the service on or off at any time in location history section of the Google account settings. If it's turned on, you can view a timeline on the Google Maps website that shows an estimate of places you may have been and routes you may have taken, based on your location history. You can view there your location history for a specific time period, manage your timeline settings, or, not everyone knows, export and download location history data for further work. When you set up your location history for a specific day to see what places you have visited, there are two different types of data available for download. You can either export and download the location data for the day you are viewing by clicking on Settings, small gear icon on the bottom right, and selecting Export this day to KML. Or you can choose to get your entire location history data by selecting Download a copy of all your data, which leads to the Google Takeout website. Here, you should first click Deselect All in the Select Data to Include section, then scroll down and check the box labeled Location History. There are two formats to choose from. The JSON file format, which is also the default setting for downloading, and the KML file format, which needs to be manually selected. Along with both formats, the package also includes semantic location history files consisting of derived site visits and activity segments for each individual month. After selecting the preferred format, scroll to the bottom of the page and proceed to the next step, where you can set the frequency of the export, the type and size of the package created, and begin the process of creating an export of your location history. Now when you've exported your location data from Google, you're probably wondering how to extract the places you visited during a specific time period. At Geoprocessing Online there is a tool developed for just this purpose. From a set of powerful and easy-to-use tools just choose the right one that allow you to get as much as possible from your Google location data, and click the green button to go to the tool page. After checking the short description of the tool, you can run it and proceed to the first step where you need to upload your location data. You can either upload the entire package as downloaded from Google Takeout with all the data in your chosen KML or JSON format, or you can unzip the package and upload the individual files separately. Once unzipped, you have a large KML or JSON file with the raw data available. For quick analysis of visits for specific months, you can upload just a specific JSON file with semantic data. The last option is to upload just the KML file for a specific day downloaded from Google Timeline. Once all the data is uploaded, let the system verify that it's suitable for further processing and if everything is okay, you can set a specific time period within which you want to identify the places visited. You can choose to process all available data over the full time range, data for a recent periods, or choose your own dates between which you want to identify your visits. In the next step, you can set a spatial filter or not specify the area at all and get all visits from all over the world for the specified time period. If you decide to set the area of interest, choose the drawing tool and draw the polygon or rectangle on the map. After setting the date and spatial filters, you can choose the method of determining the places you have visited. Choose either to get the original estimated locations by Google, or the locations of the places visited computed on original data, based on spatiotemporal analysis. If you select the second option, you can choose whether the resulting information about the places visited is detailed, even short stops lasting only a few minutes like waiting for public transport, less detailed, only visits lasting tens of minutes to a few hours, or just a rough estimate of the most important places visited. You can also add to your resulting data an attribute with the name of each place you visited. If you want to get all the source points extracted from the raw Google location data that was the basis for determining the places you visited, which is one very long line, 
you can select the option and export those points to a separate file. Finally, you can select the format of the output data file. You can choose from CSV or MS Excel spreadsheet formats and vector formats such as SRE Shapefile, GeoJSON, GeoPackage or SQLite Spatialite. Once you choose the output format, let the system process your data and get a perfect overview of the places you visited. You can further work with the resulting data in spreadsheets or in your GIS software and see where you've been during a business trip or family vacation. So just hit the green button and give it a try on geoprocessing.online.